I guess you must have muted. I guess you must have muted. Yeah, I did. Yeah, because I was trying to do some random sound shit to entertain people while you were away. Oh, yeah, because I originally thought, oh, something's happening here. Yeah, I didn't want to, like... Got yeah, I wasn't ready for the, um... Oh, chic. Past, present, future. The Master Sword is a ship in which you can sail upstream and downstream through Time's River. The port of that ship is in the Temple of Time. To restore the Desert Colossus and enter the Spirit Temple, you must travel back through Time's Flow. Listen to this Requiem of Spirit. This melody will lead a child back to the desert. And yep, this is the only dungeon we can play as Child Link and Adult Link. I have to say, Re Requiem of Spirit is my personal favorite tune. There's just something somber yet epic about it. Oops. Ah! My ears! <laughs> Oops. It sounds very Hans Zimmer-esque, doesn't it? Kind of? You have learned the Requiem of Spirit. That is true, Kuba the Changeling. We don't have to cross that desert again. Yeah, no, I don't. I hope I don't deal with that fucking owl again. Bye, Sheik. Or spoilers, you will. Why? Oh, you son of a bitch. All right, now there's actually a great fairy that you'll find here in the Desert Colossus. You. It's located at the north part of the map. North central part. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to head there. Past that part, obviously. Now, I'm just gonna chill here for a bit. They'll just keep coming. No matter where you go, those levers will keep on coming. Oh, hey, look, a crow. Pieces of shit. Piss off. You might as well just keep going. Alright, so you said it was up north on the map? Yeah, north central part. Hang on. North. I'm... I'm trying. Not that way. I just keep heading that way. Is it the boulder? Nope. Alright, so past the boulder. Far past. Far past. Just continue. It's where those two palm trees are. Alright. There's the spot you'll have to detonate. I see. That was a slippery Wait. finger. I was about to say, why'd you use Din's fire? They don't need, it doesn't even do anything against those enemies. Alright. Fuck off! Yeah, get the fuck away! What are you doing? Ugh. Alright. Ocarina time. Damn it. And the great fairy magic. It's a blue spell. Oh. Oh, it's an ice spell. Okay. Actually, no. Oh. This is Nehru's love. 
casts this to create a powerful protective barrier. It's defensive magic you can use with C. Okay, that camera's getting way too close to her lips. Yeah, I know. I'm just gonna right. ask if I can tell. She's got the eyeshadows of the Gerudo training grounds with the Silver Gauntlet. Yeah, no, I tried multiple times to go through that um that era mini game. It's um it's hard. I think Kuba's talking about the training grounds. You haven't gone there yet. Where is that? It's back at Gerudo's Fortress, but it, unless until you get the Silver Gauntlets, I'd advise against going there. Alright. So, shall we travel back in time? Let's get the fuck out of here. And piss off. Wrong song. It's a wrong song. You've just played the wrong of song. You don't have. Okay, none of those lyrics made any sense. So what was I supposed to play? The Prelude of Light. Shut up! No, before you head back to this back to the Desert Colossus as a kid. There's actually a minigame you can play in the market as a kid. Oh, it's not the one with the Lens of Truth? Bingo. Yeah, no, I remember that. Because otherwise you have to take a random gander in the, um, in all the treasure yeah, chests. But, yeah, but since you got the magnifying glass, you can pass it with flying colors. Supposedly, they get to another heart piece. You would assume correctly. And you'd only need one more piece and of heart before you complete another container. Yep, and then you have an. And I got another entire heart. Cool. Now, of course, you'll have to play the Sun Song because it's only open right. at nighttime. Uh, there we go. Do do do. Do do do. Do do do. Excuse me. You know what's cool is that in Breath of the Wild, the Temple of Time still has that cathedral-like <laughs> look to it. Where's that, um, where is that game? It's to the right. That door? Yep. Ow. With all those lights on. Yep. The one might mistake it for an inn. Oh, hey, look, a doggy's gonna follow you. Sure. I love that the um whatever it is that behind it disappears. Mm-hmm. When David Eddie says you can get a bigger bag of bombs in the bomb shoe bowling alley. <laughs> Is that even wow, you it? got. Wow, you didn't even use the lens of truth, and you got lucky. I did use the lens of truth. There it is. Oh, I didn't see you use it in that past room. Hmm. Weird. Time to use the lens of cheating. 
<laughs> it says Tuba. Dun 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 dun. No. Despite how fun the minigames are in Ocarina of Time, I like the ones in Majora's Mask a lot more. Majora's Mask is a, uh, is a game I tried to get through, but it was way too cryptic and frustrating for me. Like, I, I think I've told the story one too many times. Ooh. Yeah, I, I saw in your AVGN hunt 10 words or less with his review yeah, of Majora's Mask. That's that the one, yeah. Like, I, I, like, I don't hate it. There are some aspects I really like about it. I love the tone, and the music is fantastic. Oh, that's right. Uh, you only need one more piece of heart. Yep. The question is, is how do you want to get it? Well, what options are there? Well, you could go to the Bomb Chew Bowling Alley and try your luck there. <laughs> I suppose. Or, what you could do is... How many magic beans do you have on hand? Um... Zero. You're gonna have to go to Zora's River and buy some more. I think... Hang on. Oh! Hang on. Yeah, your first time with a mask will be a mess, but after you learn, uh, learn it or got the guide, it's a fun time. War Horse Indra. <laughs> Pardon me for butchering the name. Um, I think that's a game that you just have to have a lot of patience with. Because from what I heard, when that game was in production, they had to use... Uh, Nintendo had to use the same um, same gaming engine, and they only had a limitation. I'm sorry, I completely zoned out. What were we talking about? No, I was reading off of uh, what Warhorse was saying. Um, and I heard somewhere that in production of Majora's Mask... Uh, they had to use the same game engine, and they had a certain timeline to get another, um, not a timeline, but a time constraint to get another Zelda game done. Before. Yeah, they were basically, a, they were racing against the clock. So I guess they kind of used that as their metaphor of, hey, we were a race against the clock, and this is our way of expressing it. Hmm. Um, where is so it? how do you want to get to Zora's River? You know what, I should... Take care of that. Um, no, there we go. <laughs> Double cuckoo. Yeah. No, that goes to the castle. You know, it's a shame that I missed out on the Sonic 2 <clears throat> movie screening that you did. Oh, did you actually see the movie or no? Oh, I've seen it plenty of times, but it would have been fun to have watched it with you guys. Problem is, I was too busy. Yeah. Well, I showed it because um, one of my patrons, Blue Griffin, stated that he hasn't seen it and he's been wanting to. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to do him a favor. That's, um, that's but, uh, sweet of you. Yeah, figured I'd do that. Um... I don't know if this is like, not sure if I would consider this a hot take, but but in my opinion, I actually, I found myself enjoying that movie even more than the first movie, which I don't know if that's much to say. I don't know how other people feel about it. I mean, it's kind of the popular opinion. Okay. In some ways, for me, in some ways it's better than its predecessor, but in other ways it's worse. And how so? Well, <clears throat> for one, the action is definitely much better. Mm-hmm. But the problem is, the human character segments, I just don't give a shit about. Yeah, I did hear a lot about that. A lot of human act like interactions, I'm not even going to, like, <laughs> I'm not going to defend at all. Um, now, that's not to say that all the human scenes were bad. I mean, there were some genuine good moments, like the boat scene where Sonic and Tom are talking. Yeah, that was actually pretty good. Ah, damn it! Oh, you missed, oh, you missed the guy you were supposed to talk to. He's shit. the one who sells you the magic beans. Yeah, that's who I was supposed to talk to. Oops. I zoned out. Um, as far as I'm concerned... It looks like we're both... Looks like we're both zoning out tonight. Yeah. 
Oh, there's a big uh, text from uh, Warhorse. Yeah, basically from what I learned from reviewers, they wanted to make the first, but wanted a second game for the new system that only came out in Japan. Sadly, the idea was canned after the um, the bring uh, N64 edition to the United... Oh, the SSDD thing. I forgot what it, the full name is. The N64 DD drive. That was an absolute failure in Japan. Yeah. Uh, so they decided to keep it a sequel, but changed it to be its own game, too. If it helps, you can just call me Indra, Indra. like my favorite Digimon, Indramon. All right. I haven't watched Digimon in so long. The human stuff was just um, was off overall, but it had some nice stuff. Like, I'm not going to defend the human parts at all. But I didn't think it was that problematic. It's just, eh, it's just stupid shit that happens. It's, it doesn't belong in a Sonic movie. That's the problem. Honestly, I'd rather deal with that than deal with Chris from Sonic X. <laughs> you and your bias against that kid. That kid just felt like such a self-insert. Like, at least the human characters in the movies, they're just there and they're like, oh, what would they say to Sonic? Um, and there are some things that you can, you know, tolerate. Like you like you said, the boat scene where... Um, where they, where Sonic and Tom have a father-son Tom, Tom, yeah, that's what nope. his name was, yeah. Nope. Yeah, I mean, that was a really good scene. I only got two beans, and I'm already like... And it's, and what I like about it is that it it not only was a life lesson type of talk, pep talk, but <laughs> it also adds some character building elements. Yeah. Something that the Mario movies severely lacked. Yeah, um... It, it, like, I'm not gonna defend this uh, Mario movie. I enjoyed a lot, like, I enjoyed it for being, you know, for an Easter egg hunt type of film, because that's kind of what it was made as. Uh, it's nothing to blow your skirt off about. Much yeah. rather watch that than the Bob Hoskins film. <laughs> Which Can't is, argue with that. Yeah, it's not saying much. Um, but I am um, happy. So, Go ahead. So now that we got our magic beans, you want to head to the desert? Okay. Because um, there's definitely a patch there that you can... Put one sprout in. Okay, so, um, should I warp? You know the rec. The rec yeah, you can. Yeah, you have to use the requiem of spirit because you can't go to Gerudo Valley as Kid Link. Yeah. It's a down, a right down. A. Oh, there it is. A down, a right down, a. All right. D damn it! No. Oh. A down A, right down A. Oh. A down A, right down A. A down A down, right? No. No. It's A down A, right down A. A down A, right down A. A down. I swear, I feel. A down A, right down A. Okay. I swear, I feel like we're having an argument in music language. There we go. <clears throat> you know what's cool is that the, you actually play the song as Wolf Link in Twilight Princess. Interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of Easter egg songs that you howl as Wolf Link in that game. For the spirit tower. <laughs> All, right. All right, so the bean sprout is located on the other side of where you are. So I have to go this to way. the right. Oh. To the right. I think it's actually on the steps of the spirit temple. Yep. <sighs> Motherfuckers. There it is. Piss off. There it is. All right. You douse don't say. All right, so I'm guessing that's a, um, a platform that allows me to get the um... the heart piece as adult link, but you can come back for that later. All right. So, are you wanting to tackle the spirit temple tonight? Uh, it's getting pretty late, actually. All right, so let's just head inside, save, and call it a night. Sure thing. I'm gonna go ahead. And next. Go ahead. 
And next time we'll be tackling the favorite dungeon. Ouch. <laughs>